This is Deltina Hay, author of The Bootstrapper's Guide to the Mobile Web. And in this session, I'm going to discuss methods for redirecting the mobile traffic to your website to your mobile website. So the goal is to detect what type of device is accessing your website and then redirect the traffic accordingly. So if somebody accesses your website using a mobile device, you can redirect that user to the mobile version of your website. You're going to want to redirect mobile traffic in a number of situations. First of all, if your mobile website is hosted by a service like Mofus or GoMobi or you've created your mobile website on a completely different server, then you're going to want to redirect it. You're also going to want to redirect the traffic if the mobile version of your website is in a different directory, say at yoursite.com slash mobile. There are a number of methods you can use to detect and redirect mobile traffic. You can use server-side scripts, HT access files, JavaScript, or just a direct links. And we're going to take a look at all of those methods in this session. First of all, server-side scripts. A server-side script resides in the root directory of your website server. And this type of script will detect a mobile device and then redirect a user as soon as they land on your site. And what I mean by that is that it doesn't wait for your website to load first. Since it's on the server side, then it will actually detect the mobile device and redirect it immediately. These scripts use a number of different languages. So you're going to need to contact your hosting service to find out what specific language or server side languages are available to you. Some of them include PHP, ASP, Java, ColdFusion, Ruby on Rails, etc. Now you aren't necessarily going to have to write these scripts on your own because there's a number of different services or open source solutions out there to help you create your script. And we're going to take a look at some of those. Now before I talk about server-side scripts, I need to explain what a user agent string is. A user agent string is something that an internet browser uses to identify itself to a website. And so server-side scripts use this user agent string to determine whether a mobile device is accessing a website. The string contains information about the browser as well as the device using the browser. So let's take a look at a user agent string. If you go to the site whatsmyuseragent.com, you can see what the user agent string is for the computer you happen to be using along with the browser that you're using. So what you'll see in your user agent string are the operating system, uh, the type of computer you're using, the type of browser you're using to access a website, and so forth. So this is for a PC. If we look at this user agent string for an iPad and an Android device, then we're going to get different information. It's going to tell us right off the bat that it's an iPad. It's going to tell us that um, what type of a browser we're using to access the website. And then over here on the Android version, we see that it says that it's a Linux operating system, that it's an Android, and it also says what type of device. It's a Samsung device, and then this is the browser type that we're using to access the website. So at least having a general idea of what a user agent string is going to help you understand how these scripts work that we're going to look at. I'm going to demonstrate a few different solutions of server-side scripts. One of them is detectmobilebrowsers.com, which is an open source solution. Another one is offered by bemobilize.com, which is a website conversion service, a mobile website conversion service. And they offer a nice free detection tool. And then finally, detectmobilebrowsers.mobi is also a nice tool, but it's free only to not-for-profit sites. Now notice that this is detectmobilebrowsers.mobi and the first one I mentioned, the open source solution, is .com. They're different websites and they're not affiliated, so you might want to make a note of that. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at these tools. The first is detectmobilebrowsers.com. Now this is an open source tool that allows you to download a number of scripts in different server-side languages as well as some some other things but we're only looking at server-side right now and we we see that there's Perl, PHP, Python, Rails those are all server-side script 
programming languages that we can download scripts for. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the PHP script here. So if we click on that and we're going to open it in a WordPad application and this is a very basic script. The very first thing that it does is look at the user agent that is coming from the browser is accessing the website and then it's looking for a match of any combination of different strings and those strings are essentially going to help it determine whether or not the user agent contains anything that will indicate that the user is accessing the site using a mobile device and so we're not going to look at all of this I just wanted you to understand that that's actually how the scripts are working as we know now what a user agent string is and now we know that this is actually what the script is doing is looking at all of these different combinations to make the determination based on the user agent string. Okay, Now once it determines that it is a mobile device it's going to redirect the user to this URL right here. So this is the only thing you're going to have to replace is the URL of the mobile site that you're redirecting to. Okay, now let's take a look at the other Detect Mobile Browser site, detectmobilebrowsers.mobi. This is a tool that's free for not-for-profit sites, but you do need to pay a fee if you're going to use it for a for-profit site. Now if we scroll down here, we see that we actually have, with the function generator, we have some choices uh, for different devices. For each of these devices listed here, we can decide whether or not we want to treat the device like a mobile device, whether we want to redirect it to a specific URL, or whether we want to treat it as a full desktop browser. And we can do that for iPhones, iPads, and a number of different devices. And once we've made those choices, we can click on Generate Function, and then we can download a file that contains our script. Okay, so that one gives us a few more choices. Okay, now let's take a look at the Be Mobilized tool. Here's the direct URL to the tool, first of all. Okay, now using this tool, we can choose any number of scripting languages here, and we can put in our original URL. This is the original domain name, and the URL that we want to direct it to, this is going to be where your mobile site resides we can choose our scripting language and then over here we can also choose to redirect things like iPad, you know, iPhone and some of the mini or smaller screen devices. And so once we've made all our choices we click update and what it'll do is generate the scripting code that we can copy and put in another file. Now there are a couple things that I want to point out about this particular code and first of all it's using the user agent we already know about that it's um, comparing it to these specific strings and then down here it's doing a couple of other tests um, depending on our the choices that we had above so the other thing I wanted to point out is this bit of code right here and what this does is set and check cookies and so if somebody comes to your website on a regular basis the script will put a cookie on their browser and to let it know the next time they come and visit your website whether or not to run the script or not. So this is a nice way also to reduce the load time on, on your servers is to uh, use a script that actually utilizes cookies. Okay, so in addition to cookies, some of the other advanced functionality that you might want to consider are conditional redirection, which would mean that a mobile user is redirected depending on how they got to the site. So if they were inquiring about a specific product or if they came there from a specific landing page, you would have control as to what page of the mobile site to send the user. Another bit of functionality that you might want to consider are session variables. Unlike cookies, session variables tell the script that the person is already utilize the script and so is already where they need to be. So it might be somebody who is navigating around your site and so you the session variable tells the script oh don't run the script again because this person has already been redirected or if a decision has already been made not to redirect them. Now the next type of functionality you might consider is tracking capabilities. Now this would be if you actually needed to keep track of 
exactly which devices are accessing your site and what portions of your site, etc. And so this is something that's available with some of the uh, more enterprise solutions. And to get some of this more advanced functionality without having to program it yourself, you can use some paid services. A couple of them are mobilewebdeveloper.com and their mobile redirect service and then also device atlas detection services and that would be more like the enterprise solution that we talked about. So if we take a brief look at some of those services, the first one is by Mobile Web Developer and they offer a mobile redirect service. If we scroll down here, we'll see that in their features listing, they have things like session variables and conditional redirection and some of the other things that we talked about. And then there's Device Atlas that offers those tracking services I talked about and this is really uh, more of an enterprise solution but it's but it is very sophisticated so if you need something that can um, handle just about all of your needs as far as detection and redirection then they would be a good solution. Okay now I want to talk about HT access files to help detect and redirect your mobile traffic. First of all HT access files only apply to Apache servers. An HT access file resides in the root directory of your website server just as a server-side script does. And you may already even have one in your website server. So if you do create one for redirection, you want to make certain that you don't overwrite one that is already in there. Now this is a good alternative if you can't implement a server-side script because it also catches the user before your entire website loads and so it's a good solution in that respect. And DetectMobileBrowsers.com has an HT access option and there's also a couple of other examples that I'm going to show you. Okay so back at DetectMobileBrowsers.com we see right here the very first option is Apache. If we click on that it's going to give us an HT access file. We're going to go ahead and pop that open and what this is doing is it's actually giving instructions directly to Apache which is uh, the operating system of your server and so it's doing what's called a rewrite first of all we determine the rewrite condition and again we use the user agent and we're going to do something very similar that we did in the server side script which is to look at all these different strings and determine whether or not it's a mobile device accessing a site and if it is we're going to make this rewrite rule right here which essentially redirects the user to this website right here and so this is what you're going to have to change to your own mobile website and that's really all there is to it that is actually the easy part the more difficult part is figuring out how to create an HT access file because HT access files are very specific files with very specific formats. However, there is a really great guide to HT access that I want to show you. It's at JavaScript Kit, and then here's the URL right here. And what this will show you specifically is how to create the file because one of the things that it says right here and this is really important is that dot ht access is the file extension it's really there's nothing before the dot and there's nothing after the final s and so it's a very specific file that needs to be created and they can show you how to do that here okay, the other example i wanted to show you is on uh, moby loves me and it's a blog post that shows you a couple of different HT access files that you can use for redirection. It has a very basic one here that only looks at smartphones, which really may be enough in, um, today. But if you wanted something more extensive, they go on to talk about a longer script that you can use to, um, to look at the user agent and determine some other mobile devices. And then it walks you through how to actually implement the HT access file. Okay, now let's talk about using JavaScript. Now JavaScript is going to be embedded directly into your HTML files, so it's not server-side. So what this means is that your website is going to have to load first before there is a test for 
whether or not it's a mobile device and the redirection takes place. Now this is puts a little bit more wear and tear on your server and tends to be a little slower but it's still effective if you don't have access to the root directory of your website or you're just not comfortable using server-side scripts. And so this should be used as a last resort for that reason and then also because uh, many browsers could have JavaScript turned off or not supported at all and so that might be a problem as far as redirecting. But one advantage, however, to using JavaScript is that you actually have more control at the page level. So you, so remember we talked about the conditional redirection? In JavaScript, you could actually put a different script at the top of any particular page to redirect people to whatever mobile page was relevant to the page they came to on your regular website. So there's a couple of examples I want to look at. First of all, bmobilize.com has a JavaScript small screen option. I'll show you what that means in a second. And then detectmobilebrowsers.com has a user agent option. So let's take a look at those examples. Okay, first of all, let's go back to detectmobilebrowsers.com. And right here in the middle, we have a JavaScript option. And if we pop that open, so what we have here is a Java function that determines using the user agent, again, whether or not the device is a mobile device that's accessing the website. And if it is a mobile device, then it's going to redirect them to this URL down here. Back over to the Be Mobilized server redirect script tool. If we scroll down to the bottom, as long as we have a small screens clicked here, it's going to generate a JavaScript script for us right here. Now this is a this is a script that you can embed in any of your HTML files before your body tag or before the end of your body tag. Now this is a different script than what we've seen before because it's not using the user agent. Instead, what it's doing is determining the size of a screen if it is accessing the website and making a determination based on that. And so first of all, we do still have a cookie, which is good. So it's placing a cookie there. And then down here, we see a test that is actually looking for the, the window screen width of a device and redirecting mobile users based on their screen size being less than 600 pixels. And so like I said, this is a different way to, to uh, make that determination and you can certainly change this value here if you want if you want to only redirect smaller devices or or even all the way up to you know larger devices if you want okay now direct links are just exactly what they sound like they're just direct links to your mobile website so you may not want to do any redirection at all and just give people an option to click something to go to your website and so right here there are a couple of links to the mobile website. Here's a graphical link right here and then here's a QR code that somebody can scan with a mobile device to go to the mobile version of the website. So regardless of the method you use, you want to always give your site visitors a choice. You always want to make certain that you have like a button on your site so that they can toggle back and forth between your mobile site or your standard website. You don't always just want to redirect them over to your mobile site and not give them a chance to come back to your standard site. So let's take a look at an example of that. If I scroll down here to the very bottom of social media power, I see a couple of buttons. One is view mobile, one is standard. If I click on mobile, I'm going to be taken to the mobile version of a site, which of course is not going to look that great on my PC, but still it's the mobile version of my site. And if I scroll down here to the bottom, I see that there's a, another button here that will allow users to come back to the standard version of the website. So even if I automatically serve up the mobile version, they have a way to come back to the standard version. And that's just a good practice to stay into so you don't irritate the users who actually do want to see the standard version of your site on a smaller screen or may even want to see the mobile version of your site on an iPad or a smartphone that would typically pick up the full version of your website. 
So I hope this session has been useful to you. If you get a chance, please go to thebootstrappersguide.com and check out the new book, The Bootstrappers Guide to the Mobile Web, which will be available for sale May 1st, 2012.